Having a YouTube channel is a little bit like sharing space in a supermarket. There's all sorts of goodies in a supermarket and things that can sustain you, but there's also aisles that are full of Fruit Loops, fruit cakes, and assorted nuts. Indeed, recently I was on a YouTube channel that was talking about a video that we had made some weeks ago. And there were questions that were being asked about our motives and agendas about comparing Paraguay to another particular country and that there must have been something untoward or deep and perhaps sinister reason why we were taking such a positive position on Paraguay. Well, as it turns out, there isn't anything particularly sinister or untoward, but there are some really good reasons why we love Paraguay. In that particular expose, there were two particular things that were focused on that I'd like to perhaps just revisit and just talk about in this video, because I don't think we've sufficiently really considered how wonderful these two particular aspects of moving to Paraguay are and how they differ from any other country that we've been to in recent years and something that I think we should all really appreciate about this wonderful country. The first thing that I'd like to talk about is the process of obtaining residence here in Paraguay. We hopped off the plane within a number of weeks. We had made application, it took a day. And a few months later, we had our residence permit for two years and we had our cedula. It was all done and dusted. That's it for two years. There's no requirement to attend an office every few months to re-report or anything else. We're good to go for two years. That really differs from many other places. There are countries that we've been to in recent years that because of the technicalities and the hurdles that have to be jumped with applying for residency, many people just prefer to do border runs. Now, I won't mention that particular uh, country that I'm particularly thinking about, uh, otherwise someone may be triggered or otherwise uh, upset, but suffice to say, for us personally, we wouldn't be comfortable being in a country where we would set up a life but have to report every three months or maybe six months uh, because we're on a tourist visa and having to go out of that country and knock on the door and hope that we're going to be let back in. I couldn't think of anything worse than having to do that with the potential of one day walking out of that country, turning around, knocking on the door and getting an answer that I wasn't uh, comfortable with. Is it to say that that happens often? To my understanding, it doesn't happen often. But does it ever happen? Again, to my understanding, it, it can happen and it has happened. It's just not something that I'm comfortable with. They're not just putting it in place to make life hard. They are actually every three or six months genuinely considering whether you're going to be allowed to go back in that country. Bearing in mind, again, if you've got your whole life back in that country, you've bought your appliances, you might have acquired a vehicle, and you've got your paperwork and everything else in there, and one day you walk out of that country and you knock back on the door and something goes the way that you're not expecting. I couldn't think of anything probably more traumatic, and it's not something I'd even want to put myself in the position of having to wonder about. So for that reason alone, being able to come to Paraguay, have my paperwork in place, and know that as long as everything's above board, that I'm gonna get two years residence here and the country's got a record of honouring those permissions, then that makes me a lot more comfortable. Paraguay has no precedence of arbitrarily denying people entry or kicking people out. I can't say that about every country. So that alone gives me a great deal of confidence and assurance about Paraguay and it's one of the primary reasons why we love it so much because we do feel secure with our residents and we know that there's a clear pathway to apply for a 10-year residence after our two years is uh, expired and we've not heard of anyone that's had any problems in that regard. It's been suggested that although we are on a two-year residence that at any time that can be changed and uh, that it's no better than doing a, a border run every 90 days. Well, I don't agree with that. Paraguay puts two years in place for a reason. I recently went on a trip to Guatemala, came back in, and I was warmly greeted by the officials here who made a point of pointing out that I was a resident of the country and there was no hassles whatsoever. We've never heard of anyone that's uh, had any issues with their residence permit here or in any way suddenly having it uh, rescinded. 
it is a solid agreement, a commitment with uh, the country of Paraguay and the holder that for two years you're good to go and there's every reason to expect that that'll be extended once our two years is up. Something I can't say for every country. So that alone is something that we really love about Paraguay. And it's something I just wanted to double down on because I think that it can easily be kind of overlooked and di perhaps even disregarded as to how different that is to say some other countries where you're having to do a 90 day border run, for example. The second thing that we really love about Paraguay and a big reason why we moved here is the ease of buying a car. The day we hopped off the plane, we were, we were able to go and buy a car if we wished. We could put it in our name, we could register it in our name, we could insure it, we could even drive it to another country as long as all of the technical paperwork was in order. Not so in other countries that we've been in. In some other countries that we've been in, you'd have to own a business in order to buy a car and it would be in the business name. You wouldn't be able to drive it out of the country. So another option would be to put it into a third party's name. Again, not entirely above board as far as I understand and certainly an, a few extra steps that we weren't comfortable in taking and we thought that it was kind of putting us in a situation that we weren't really comfortable to be put in. Furthermore, the actual cost of buying a car here was far cheaper than some other countries we've been in. So this isn't so much a rebuttal to another video because quite frankly, that particular video that I mentioned earlier, it's really not worth the time that it would take to watch it. But it really is to just revisit those two points that although we talk about them here in Paraguay, that being residents and buying a car, it did occur to me that we haven't really sufficiently articulated why Paraguay is such an outstanding prospect when it comes to those two things and how they are so high on our list, let's face it, if you can't feel confident and secure about your tenure in the country, and if you can't buy a vehicle and put it in your name, insure it in your name and drive it across the border, you'd be hoping that there might be another country where you can be availed of those two privileges. And thankfully here in Paraguay, you can. And just speaking more broadly and generally, I'd just like to give my thoughts about some channels out there who are giving all sorts of advice about relocating to other countries. My perspective is this, if someone's talking about another country and, and suggesting it's a really good prospect and somewhere that you should consider moving to, the first thing I'd be asking is, well, what status of residence does that person have? Are they just doing border runs every 90 days? Is that what they've been doing for years? Because if that's what they've been relying on, and if they think that that's a secure prospect for them, then more power to them. But for me personally, I'd be looking at and thinking, well, that's okay for you, Jack, but for me, I don't wanna be setting up my life and knocking on a door every 90 days on a basically a tourist visa. It's not something personally I'm comfortable with. And if I was watching another channel and they were saying, no, no, it's all good. They'll, they'll always let you in and it's just a formality. Well, you be your own judge, but for me personally, Formalities like that are not things that I want to take chances on. I think that they ask these questions for a reason. They have these processes in place and I don't take it as a given that it's going to be every time it's going to be a, an affirmative answer. And again, as I said earlier, I couldn't think of anything worse than setting up in a country only to all of a sudden be denied re-entry into that country. Secondly, if you're ever watching a channel and the person presenting the information drops the nugget that they're very tight with the government of that country that you're looking at. Again, I'd be really cautious, particularly with certain countries, because perhaps that person isn't delivering the full extent of the information that you require, or is perhaps presenting it in a way that is most digestible to that country in question or that government in question. I'm not speaking about anyone in particular. You might find a creator or two out there that perhaps has agendas other than just being genuinely wanting to give you good information about a country that you might want to relocate to. So I hope that's helpful to someone out there. There are two reasons and two things that we really love about Paraguay. We think that they are standouts for this country and there's very few countries in the world where you can hop off the plane, apply for your two years residence and as long as everything's in order, be certain that you're going to get it and to be able to buy a vehicle in your name and to be able to drive it cross-border they're really two fundamental freedoms. They're really pivotal to you being able to set yourself up and to be able to move forward as a productive, happy resident of that country. And that's indeed what we found here in Paraguay and we're so pleased we're here.
Maybe Paraguay is not for everyone. The purpose of our channel is not to convince that Paraguay is the place that everyone needs to come to, but we want to give you the most accurate information without bias or a hidden agenda so that you can make the best decisions because we don't need everyone here. We need the right people here for the right reasons because then we will build a happy community. That's my two cents worth. And as always, it's just my opinion. And the last time I checked, we're all entitled to our own opinion. So I'd be interested in hearing yours. If you've got comments or feedback, if you'd like to know anything further, please drop us a line. Always happy to help. Okay, take care. Ciao.